Hey everybody, welcome back to the Hard for Games channel. We are your hosts. Who am I? It's been so long. It has I been a while since you've been on screen, as a matter of fact, uh, since I took my uh, sabbatical from Hard for Games Gaiden because of the baby. But, but yes, I, I am Richie. But, and I am Tony, and today we are rocking Spider-Man 4 for the Wii. So that is an unreleased Wii! game for an unreleased movie. The mythical sequel to Spider-Man Three. The only way this could be better is if it was on an unreleased system, but... Yes, it is on a dev system, so that's kind of, uh, <laughs> you know, it wasn't re didn't receive a retail release. So let's go ahead and get into it, and we hope you all enjoy. This is Hardcore Game. They become hard. They're Hardcore Games. They become hard. They're Hardcore Games. So here we have the main title screen, which gives us nice little glimpses into the story. So we have a fatal assault victim named, man identified as Gregory Bestman, and we have this little uh, Daily Bugle blurb coming up on the side, a very sensationalist, tabloidy. It's pulpy. Very pulpy, indeed. So we've got here, bird of prey or common flying rat. I, I don't really know how you would get those two mixed up. Like, that's more of a Batman reference, I yes. feel. But, <laughs> but moving on. Half bird, half man predator strikes again. Bestman in Tombs was decimated last night with Gregory Bestman found dead at the scene. Is the vulture responsible? Is this an act of industrial sabotage or just an insurance scam? Yeah. And for those of you that don't know, Adrian Toomes is the vulture, at least the, the original vulture. And this hints to an early story with him where these two business partners were no longer getting along and sort of betraying each other. And eventually Toomes just has enough and becomes the vulture and kills him. So let's go ahead and poke around a little bit here. We have a couple of different options, but before we go into any of them, let's just go ahead and take a look at this. As you can see, my Wii cursor, uh, it's functional to choose the options or I could just select them uh, with the D-pad. But we have the Spider-Man logo here, Vulture at Large. We have a sort of like a, almost looks like an, just an industrial or like yeah. oil tanker yeah. sort of thing. Pretty, pretty grisly stuff. Yeah, and this thing here, which we theorize, it, it's some sort of a guy in a suit, but we thought maybe it could be the rhino. rhino. That was as close as we got. Go show show them the picture of his like big gruff. Maybe, maybe somebody recognizes this yeah. weirdo. So here we have sort of another image of a man in sort of like a mechanized suit, almost sort of like a, a bulky uh, Iron Man sort of style yeah. suit. As you can see, like it almost kind of has these horn boobs coming out <laughs> of the side here. He's and, Bronze Man. Yeah, Bronze Man. But then we sort of have this Beast Man right here, which I'm not sure who this would be. Kingpin forgot to shave for like five months. Yeah, I don't know. And then we have this character right here that I can't see their face. You know what? This image is probably in the file somewhere, which I do have extracted, but oh. it looks kind of like a Ghostbuster <laughs> to me with this covering their the face. Whole, the whole art style reminds me of like Metal Gear Solid. I don't know if you've ever seen any of the art from it, but yeah. it has kind of that like, you know, the details are kind of unclear and it's very sensationalized. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be curious to you know see who this character is. Like I was a huge Spider-Man fan in the 90s, but golden, what is it, gold or silver era comics or like, or like 60s, 70s era comics, I'm not super familiar with, which is what Raimi pulled from frequently so they're they're it could be a character i just don't know about possibly but that's that's your homework you need to educate yeah. us on these uh do i want to call them niche spider-man villains possibly i don't know i'm not sure subway crash victim saved by costumed figure who am i do you really <laughs> want to know <laughs> that this, is some. This is a real Final Fantasy VII vibe. Right yeah, there. this is a, a very Tobey Maguire angst going on. <laughs> so these are all the menus, but let's go ahead and travel backwards a little bit and actually go into some of the. Um, well, the options are probably easiest to start with. Pretty simple. We have audio options here. Really, <laughs> we're gonna show them the whole, the whole menu. You know what? Look though? at this sound effects and music. You know, but you know what though? Like people. They're crazy about this kind of stuff. They want to see every last little detail. Control options. Okay. 
can use some tilt controls. <laughs> it just, so this is obviously an incomplete bit here. Control method. So let's go ahead and jump into the asset viewer. So as you can see, there's some actually some unused <laughs> space here. So as you can see here, Spider-Man, we can change things around. We can rotate. We can look at the model. Can you change the model? We can. So this is another one of those guys in, in the suit here. So I'm not sure. I think he's just a generic like. This isn't as big and bulky as the other suit that we saw in the art. Right. Yeah. He, but he it probably is, works for Vulture. It is reminiscent. So I'm wondering, you know, oftentimes developers would get a treatment or something like that for the script, like not even a full script and be like, hey, let's start making the game off of this. So, you know, they had to make some liberty. So it's questionable as to whether this guy or guys like this would even be in the film. I'm not 100% sure. Wow, you can really get all up in there. Yeah. So pressing minus like restarts his animation. Look at this. Fascinating. So does plus, <laughs> which is bizarre. And then pressing one brings up a menu as if you're playing the game. Restart the level, damn it. So look, we do level restart. And it brings us here, which is just kind of a bizarre. I, I, I can't imagine that's all that uncommon for pre-release games to just still use the same menu for things like that. Yeah. So obviously there's nothing here. So let's go ahead and go back. FX satellite areas. Run down side of town. Like up, up, oh, oh. Yeah, so, so oh. you can see nothing has really has collision. And this is all about showcasing effects because this, this is sort of an FX showcase like gunshots, explosions, lights, that kind of stuff. You know, uh, there's some green substance going on in the background <laughs> over there. Can I swing anywhere? You actually cannot use your webs in can this I, in these areas. Can I crawl on the wall anywhere? See some more sights? You can explore, but this area is really all about just showcasing effects. And you don't have all your spider powers here. My spider powers? Yeah. Actually, maybe you'll become a radioactive ooze if you go in yeah, there. Yeah, let's just chill here. I'm gonna become the lizard. Yeah, there's a lot of effects going on here. You know, gunshots, fire, lighting effects are really good. You know, this could have been a pretty good looking game. I this, mean, this is a this Wii really game. really looks like a Mickey Shore on fire. Yeah, right there here. you go. <laughs> oh geez, that one almost hit me. Yeah, or a Mickey's Ooh. the malt beverage. Just go right in the middle of those bullets, see what happens. <laughs> Go behind the building, see uh, if there's anything back there. Whoops, uh -oh. see doodles. <laughs> I... Goodbye, Norma Jean. Though I never knew you at yep, all, I think you I'm had stuck. the grace <laughs> to hold yourself. That's Candle in days. the Wind, by the way. I don't know if you heard that one. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Leviton, what does that say? Leighton Hotel. Leighton Hotel. Uh, I don't know if that has any significance in the, the comics. I or maybe it's one of the developers, who knows? But Financial services, checks, etc. Yeah, there. I mean, there's a decent amount of detail, you know, in these these uh, stores. I, I think this is just too many ampersands in a row, right? I, here. I, yeah, it's a bit much. Cold beer and sodas and hot and cold sandwiches. Yeah, that's probably why the game didn't get released. <laughs> so we just did effects, satellite areas. Now there's art. So go to general props too. We'll work our way up on this one. So I'm gonna show you something interesting that I found here when I was poking around. On the roof of this endless building. Yeah, so you know, there's they're just like props and stuff. These actually do have collision on them. You know, billboards, etc. So here we have just like this, it, it's hard to even see what this is. You can kind of zoom in with the upper- It's a magazine stand. Yeah, but it's like, like what are these images? It just seems like people- It's porn. So here it is. There's a GameStop poster. <laughs> and I'm not sure if this is making fun of GameStop or they were doing some sort of collaboration. I want to think it's making What's fun of them because it says, get rid of your friends, acquire new enemies, GameStop. <laughs> it's hard to see because it zooms in only for a moment. Was that ever? I don't think so. But it, again, it's, it's really jerky. I'm gonna have to do like a still, oh, this is good. Here we go, here we go. Here's a good shot of it. Get rid of your friends, acquire new enemies, GameStop. And then there's this weird ass 
like character here. And it's just, it's just strange that they put this as like a hidden thing. I wasn't sure if maybe like the devs were like upset with GameStop during this time. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I found it really that interesting. Is, that is pretty s strange. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's certainly bizarre, isn't it? General props More one. More props. Can I clear the fence? Whoop. Nope, well, you can just go through it. Speaking. Yeah. Due to, due to lack of collision, yes, you can. <clears throat> Come on. Clear the hurdle. There you go. There you go. Do you have your double jump in this? Because sometimes you do have a double jump. Oh, yeah. hey, hey. Oh, my life has changed. It's bizarre that, I mean, as we'll see so once we- So bizarre. So bizarre. <laughs> as we'll, do, 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 do. <laughs> As we'll see once we get to the gameplay, like a lot of the web slinging is based on like specific things you have to latch onto, but it's weird playing this where it's like, you don't really have any of your powers. Right. Other than just being able to jump high. Well, you know? I, I mean, you, we're not really playing this. Yeah. We're yeah. exploring. Street furniture. I'm not even positive that I, oh yeah, this is the same thing that yeah. we had in effects room for. Next, Little Italy, just for us. Yep. The Italians. That's it. <laughs> oh look, they, this one has actually colored the flag oh, yeah. <laughs> in the building. That's hilarious. <laughs> and then uh, Luigi's. Luigi's Bakery. What is the one next to it there? Teresa's flowers, 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 something mozzarella, Roma, Roma. mozzarella ricotta, and then if you turn around, there's just a wall. <laughs> That's the Berlin Wall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See if there's anything on the other side of the Berlin Wall. Oh, it's not gonna let you go there. No, I'm okay for now. Okay. Chrysler Building. Okay. It's a metaphor for capitalism. You can <laughs> Your construct. camera control on this is like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I mean, the game's camera is not itself all of that amazing. If you try to move it all while controlling the camera, it gets so confused. Yeah. Chinatown. This is nice and colorful. I mean, there's a lot of details here. You know, it's a Wii game and there's, there's a lot of stuff going on. Oh, no! Well, now we get to see underneath it, which is basically a lot of nothing. The bridge. These were all scenes that were confirmed to be in. They're just like, there's always a bridge in Spider-Man. There's always a big bridge scene, yeah. <laughs> As in, like, the card game. <laughs> the high, high stakes bridge scene. Well, there's some graffiti on the sides there. I wonder what that says. Where? Oh, wow, look at that. It's all, I mean, maybe the viewers can figure out something, but it's all kind of scribbles. Wait, wait, hang on, what's going on with the, the geometry over there? Turn around. All Where? the way, 80, 180, look. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that is not coherent. That ain't right. <laughs> Do not let MC Escher design your public infrastructure projects. Yeah, not you good. will cause problems. It seems to be okay on the other side, but that, that. <laughs> Oh, you took a nice little photo of <laughs> of the inside of the train car you play in in the playthrough section. What the hell just happened? You'll see what we mean in a minute here. But basically, he pressed accidentally pressed the photograph button and uh, took a picture. Wow, of a... you you just led me to the abyss, Tony. Well, you deserved it. So look at him like as he's falling. He's like like how much ground have I covered so far? Wow. <laughs> Let's just watch that go away. I'm still falling, guys. <laughs> this is keep it keep it up. This is a this is amazing. This is brilliant cinematography. Yeah. That, that was construction amazing. site. Now this is something you'd want to have all your spider powers for, but unfortunately they just can, can I point out the irony of the construction site being the most finished area we've seen so far? Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I fell in a hole. <laughs> I think we can move on from that. There wasn't too much to see. Oh, there's ground over there. Yeah, well, as, as it turns out. Unfortunately, this version of Spider-Man can't stick to just any wall, so you're stuck. You're gonna die there. <laughs> He's gonna starve to death. Night in Midtown. So this is similar to the, this is the same area as we saw with the effects. It's just the effects aren't going yeah. and blasting everywhere. I like that phone booth though. Yeah. It's a pretty nice phone booth. Well, that, yeah. Digital Destiny. Yeah. Those lighting effects are fun. 
We've probably seen Run Downside of Town too, yeah. Yep, this is the same area, just without the effects. JTW Garage Gas and Repairs. Where's there the garage? There should not be <laughs> an apostrophe here that is bad grammar. And that's why it never did well in terms of its business. Fight every Pokemon trainer there is. Yep. Some generic they bad guys. They want to be the very best, but I won't have any of that. I'm here to keep all the Butterfreeze free. So this is an area that teaches you how to utilize all the different gameplay aspects. Likely, obviously, wouldn't be in the game, considering this is very debuggy, but it teaches the player how to play a Spider-Man. So basically, these areas just sort of are for experimenting with the physics, experimenting with Spider-Man's various move sets. Um, you know, as you can see on the ground, they have everything measured in terms of distance. Yeah. And so they can like sort of determine, okay, I want him to move this much more, this much less with these sort of movements and kind of go from there. Let's go to web swing corner. I'm sure it just means swinging around a corner, yep. but I like to think of it as a cool little place. Ooh, that was nice. There you go. And there's a nice sense of movement here. Yeah, he's got a nice... Oh, geez. Yeah, you were but actually supposed to go back the not... other way. Wow, this is a pretty expansive little area, huh? <laughs> is this like all of the areas, you think? Yeah, I think so. Wow. Web zip, web combat. Well, let's take a look at the web collectibles comics. room. So this is kind of bizarre because there's these things that are, I guess would be collectibles that you have to collect with B. But in this version, like, you can press B all you want. But you still can't pick up that cardboard box. Nothing happens when you press B. And it literally looks like the button, so you imagine, you know, like, it, it wants you to press B. I, I thought it was like a stealth feature when, yeah. I, when I first came by. No idea. Swan Dive is actually pretty funny. I think you just have to let yourself fall. Really? Yep, I do. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, you can't press anything. But you do have to have enough momentum that you actually make the, like, swan gesture and don't just fall. Yeah. There he goes. Nice. Yeah. That was that was some good camera work. Swan dive, camera test, camera test. So this is, this is interesting because it just kind of, like, puts you in a bunch of different environments where the camera would have to follow you around in different ways just to make sure that everything is sort of functioning right. So here's a large drop. How does the camera follow you in this case? Not well enough. Bad, bad job. Back to development. There is the world sim. Ah, now. okay, so the world sim is interesting. So just, just watch this. Richie's doing nothing here. He is, the camera's just going. And it just goes, and it goes, and it goes. And it's interesting to see, because it's like you can see how far you can get. And various people strategically in the middle, where you wouldn't notice, pop out. So it's like people will pop in and out, but it's like it's not necessarily at the edges where you'd be looking. Because you'd be like, oh, let's see how far we can get away, and then the very distance will go away. Well, it's like it's no, a lot of the middle ground actually goes away, which is interesting. And you can hear various people talking and stuff. And mm -hmm. You, keep, you mm -hmm. keep dropping your little binky and slobbering everywhere. I know it's hard being a baby. <laughs> Look at that bus just hitting that. that uh, oh that, man, it went right, right through that Prius taxi. Look, look at this, like they're smashing against each other on those. It, they're, they do pretty good except for those turns, like the congested turns. Look, 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 they just like went, <laughs> went right through. That's, those are the types of things Spider-Man is supposed to prevent from happening. Yeah, exactly. So that's pretty much everything in terms of the debug, but we actually have two, quote, levels that are very simplistic. They almost remind me of like runner levels because they're very like momentum based. You know, Richie's terrible at them, but... <laughs> Such Don't worry, hater. I have some of my own I, footage that I could show of me playing while Richie plays this. <laughs> Look at how good I am. Man, that was a perfect swan dive. <laughs> so, unfortunately, you can't interact with the deep environment because you're only meant to be web-slinging. But 
Really though, there is a great sense of momentum here. Mm -hmm. There really is, it's very enjoyable. I like how if you if you knock him down while he's on the ground, he dies, but then stands back up. Yeah. <laughs> the the cookie cutter enemies could use a little bit Shit. of really <laughs> could use a little extra work. I keep wanting the the web slinging button to be on the nunchuck. Ah. But it's not. That is the dude punching yeah. button. You know, it's interesting, I haven't seen untextured polygons in a while. You know, it's like 32X era. You know, yeah, it's it's very early looking. So there's a little photography feature that it's having you play with here. But yeah, that's that's the same photo that I saw when I. Oh, it's just Spider-Man. Yeah. It's his shadow. It's but his shadow. He's not crawling. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Why does he have a shadow on the ceiling and the floor? <laughs> it's it's very wrong. The light source is not. It's coming in from the sides. Okay, this is this is the tricky part. It isn't. Uh, it's not <laughs> tricky at all. <laughs> Run, punch me, some Pokemasters. The combat's okay in this. It's just that the the collision and the enemies are kind of meh. It, it needed to be polished a bit, but it's not it's not bad. If the enemy types were more varied and yeah, there's there's something to work with here. There's something to work with, you know. Now here's one of those blocks that you'd press B, but there's just, there's nothing. So it kind of makes you wonder, you know, it might be some collectible or something. I'm sure our editor can, can kick out every little of this binky. My daughter is still learning how to utilize a pacifier. So she, she's very kind of, which means she's bringing in air, which isn't good. So I'll have to burp her after this, but. Now there are two paths here. You can go back, but in the long run, there's still time to change the road you're on, Richie. So you can either go to this path over here on your left or behind you. When I was playing beforehand, I did the one to the left, so I'll do the one on the right. This okay. Time. So this, unlike a lot of the other Spider-Man games that I've played, which, you know, you could just web sling anywhere. You don't have to rely on any particular place to like attach to, you know what I mean? So this is a little bit different. Like it, it's less freedom, but it does provide a sense of direction and momentum, which is nice. Right. I do like the zip mechanic. Mm-hmm. We've got another level here. Yep. So this is, you can choose two different stages and they just lead one into the other if you start with the first one. And this one's got more of like a industrial area versus the yeah. wide open city vibe. So I would imagine this would be the, uh, like Shit, the tombs and Beckman and Tombs, you know, industrial right. company, you know, electric company or whatever it is. You died now, nice. I did die. Well, you start right back up, so that's fine. It is bizarre that you will die if you touch the ground. <laughs> the floor is lava. The floor is lava in Spider-Man's. Just for the sake of it, before you go over there, go to the other side. Oh man, that was a nice fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad I asked. And this, so there's just nothing that's over there. No. But can I can I replicate that like spider dance? That's amazing. It's good stuff. This is the Matrix. See, I'm a cinematographer too. All oh, bullet time. What are you doing to get that? Just it just does it automatically. Yeah, I think there's something wrong with the the ground here or something. Oh, okay. Now this part is just so weird because it gives you an option for the camera, and then the only place to go is just down. So I'm guessing you're you're going into the building or whatever, but it, I find it very strange. That was looking like it was going to be a pretty sweet swan dive, though. Yeah, it was looking. You dropped your little pacifier, sweetie. So we talked about that alternate path. Here is a little bit of footage from the path that Richie did not take. The path less followed, perhaps. Yeah, exactly. So that was the Spider-Man 4 development, uh, what would you call this, the Super Alpha? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kinda. It's certainly, it's early. You know, I mean, they had a lot of the mechanics down really nice. But that's uh, kind of because it's from an established series, you know? Yeah, it played a little bit different than other Spider-Man games I've played, but yeah, you know, I mean, you're right. But that was kind of, it was, pretty cool to be able to go into like the debug rooms and a lot of times when you 
are playing like a release game, they still leave some of the debug rooms in there, but none of them are as detailed as yeah. as this one. And you actually get to see how they might sort of like feel out Spider-Man's move set, get yeah. a sense of how they're going to design the stages, all that stuff. It's it's pretty pretty neat. Yeah, and it's it's also neat to see a game that was canceled for a reason that you don't have to guess. You know what I mean? Like, it, the movie didn't come out, so this game was just abandoned. You know, Sony wanted to do a reboot. They were itching to do a reboot. Sam Raimi was working on this, and, you know, eventually kind of realized that Sony didn't really have his back on it, and it kind of fell apart. But it's nice to see little snippets of what, what could have been, you know, per usual. Have you seen the the stuff to Reggie about Mother 3 and how he's so relieved that that is no longer a decision that he's a part of. <laughs> no, I haven't, but that's hilarious. But yeah, you know, I, I know a lot of you are probably wondering, like, hey, will I be able to play this? The answer is yes. A uh, big thank you to Andrew for lending this to us, and he's coordinating with Forest of Illusion for a release of this game. It was found on a Wii Dev Unit hard drive. There was no actual disc or anything like that. But the info has been dumped, and, um, and, and they're going to release it. Just to clarify, I clarified this with Tony before we shot, but he didn't decide to leave it to you. They're not actually finishing the game. They're no. just going to be releasing what we just showed you. Yes, yes. Which I think is a cop-out. Buy the license, finish the game, you know, nut up, man. Just do it. <laughs> right? Think that up. You're really getting, you're becoming a very slobber baby these days. Yeah, <laughs> I know you is a slobber baby. You smell so good. Got her toast. Oh no, oh no. Okay, that's our cue to exit everybody. We gotta go. Baby's crying. We'll see you next time. Thank you for joining us on Patreon, subbing, ringing that bell, all that good stuff. We'll see you all ding, next ding, time. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, you can scream all you want now. There.